Malte Grunert is the producer for All Quiet on the Western Front, Germany's submission for Best International Feature at the Oscars that exceeded all expectations and is now up for nine Oscars, including Best Picture, 14 BAFTAs. Malte, what an incredible accomplishment. What was that like waking up the morning of the Oscar nominations and just seeing your film mentioned time and time again and then becoming an Oscar nominee yourself? I sort of, it, it was very much unexpected on that scope and um and it was yeah i mean sort of i i was actually in my office um and and had sort of decided against um watching the sort of live stream um just out of nervousness um but sort of everybody else in my office sort of sort of basically forced me into the room where we watched the the live stream could you sense, you know, even from the script and talking with Edward Berger in those early meetings, that you may have something really special on your hands here? Well, I mean, it it felt it felt quite special to me and and Edward. Um, it felt like a special opportunity. Um, it also felt quite intimidating um in in light of the fact that it's a canonical book it's it, i mean sort of it's a masterpiece it's sort of in 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 germany it is it is the definite novel about world war 1 um and obviously lewis milestone's beautiful film is 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 another thing that sort of that that basically intimidated us and um so so it felt special for us but but it didn't feel special in in the way of recognition or connection i mean sort of you never know that sort of going in it's incredibly rare for a non-english language film to receive so many oscar nominations what do you think it was that people connected to or resonated with um or is it is part of it that it was, you know, not a lot of non-English films are as generally as seen by such a wide audience. I mean, people were watching this all over the world. It was a, it was a huge hit. Um, I, I sort of, once we started sort of showing the film and, uh, and premiering it in Toronto at TIFF, and uh, Zurich in Europe, and then sort of screenings, there was certainly a feeling that that audiences connected and felt it contained relevant themes. Um, so, but so yeah, I mean, sort of we we had the feeling that that we that we connected to audiences, but whether that's for, for the same reasons that we went into the production or sort of the film managed to to connect for 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 a number of reasons and obviously internationally it's much harder to 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 gauge um we we very much felt we we wanted to make this film from a german perspective in the german language and and contribute a, a German perspective on on this to the discourse of you know war stories, war films. Um, but what international audience sort of audiences or every audience member sort of individually connected to, I I I couldn't foresee nor nor sort of nor explain. What's the you know behind the scenes sort of tricks for a producer in terms of, you know, what was it like for you pitching this to Netflix or getting this film the right studio? What What's that process like for you? And what was it like in this case in particular? I mean, sort of in, in this case in particular, sort of Edward and I went out uh, during the Berlin Film Festival 2020, um, just before sort of the pandemic started to really sort of become a reality around yeah. the world. Um, and 
sort of given sort of given the history of all quiet on the western front and given the fact that it's a it's an important book uh for you know sort of if you, if you look at whatever you know the top 10 films by directors i adore um it it shows up on so many on so many lists that yeah it's and and on the basis of that sort of sort of there was there was a certain amount of interest um and and netflix just ha just was very very persuasive in um in telling us why it was important to them why it was important to them to do it in the german language and why because after all, it's still a German language film with a lead actor that was in front of the camera for the first time uh, in our film. So no real star power, if if you will, sort of to to lean on. Um, they still persuaded us why why they would be the best partner. And um, and that's a partnership that throughout production production, especially in the adverse circumstances with um sort of the pandemic at sort of at a peak when we went into production in in the czech republic that sort of turned out to be a blessing were you concerned with like this being an epic war drama with so many technical achievements i mean it's so beautiful on so many levels and, and the sound were you worried it could fly under the radar on uh, if people are watching it mostly from home more than more than theaters or is that not something that you really gave much thought for this while making it we weren't giving it a lot of thought i'm 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 very very happy that uh that sort of we did have a theatrical release in uh germany and many other territories and it felt it felt that audiences did have a choice really to and and the ones that were interested in seeing it on a big screen um were given that opportunity um and and while we were still sort of a fresh film that had come out and and had premiered theatrically then very quickly it was it was available to you know to all the audiences in the in the territories that that you know Netflix is in um and that felt that felt like a huge chance and when it comes to casting you know you mentioned that you went with an unknown um and your wife was actually the one who discovered Felix Kammerer correct um has she been taking credit for that now I have completely unfounded almost parental pride which um <laughs> which obviously has 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 no basis because he's just simply fantastic but but yes indeed I mean my my wife had um she was working for the state theater in Vienna at the time and she had seen him in in theater school and and hired him uh into the theater where I saw him on stage um so it it is yeah I mean sort of it, I just feel I just feel very very happy for him and sort of and and even though he he hasn't been uh sort of he hasn't been uh nominated for a BAFTA or an Oscar but but sort of clearly if Felix who was 24 when we when we shot the film if he if he weren't that fantastic we wouldn't have a sing, single nomination yeah um and the actual filming was no easy feat i i recently spoke with your oscar nominated production designer christian goldbeck um mm -hmm. and he spoke to me about getting to the czech republic and he's he said there's this big open field to build all these war trenches and he spent all this time testing the earth making sure everything was just perfect. And he said, at one point you came up to him and, he, and you said, Christian, when are we going to start building? <laughs> you can see, um, I, I'm wondering if you remember that conversation the way he does. And, you know, what is it about, you know, what was the most difficult thing to make sure you're on time, on budget? I mean, what is that pressure like for, for you as a producer? I mean, sort of with, with Christian, obviously, um, 
we we spend a lot of time sort of mostly i mean thinking about scope of of our set um edward and and um our dp uh, james had sort of had planned out certain shots and the battlefield sequences and we knew we had very long one shots and we needed to so so we spend a lot of time in in various possible locations sort of walking through you know walking and talking and determining what is the distance that we need in order to to sort of cover this action and dialogue and and every time we did that um our sort of our set just grew and um and 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 you could see christian sort of watching us while we did that thinking oh god <laughs> sort of it's another it's it's another 100 yards it's another 200 yards and um and then there's so many aspects of you know sort of there's a lot of you know really basic construction groundwork and you need to we we started shooting end of february um we were afraid that the ground would freeze up in january and sort of and and sort of major construction wouldn't be possible at that time so we needed to start early november at the latest um the same with costumes we needed to put a huge number of of extras in costumes that weren't available so our costume designer first started sourcing materials or actually talking to to mills that would weave the fabric for her which would then be cut into uniforms and then aged in order to have them ready uh in in february so so it was a it was a new and um and 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 very complex preparation and sort of in in all of that as a producer i think you it's it's most important to to sort of to know what you don't know and become an aggregator of people that do and listen to them obviously within the constraints of time and money and uh, and and so forth but but to to trust um to trust people and and I sort of and i have to say one of the most satisfying things about all these nominations is to see the the depth of nominations and that um our heads of departments and all the technical departments are are also so recognized for their work yeah i mean production design score screenplay cinematography makeup and hairstyling sound visual effects all of these were were oscar nominated um so many test technical aspects of this film have been recognized it's such a compliment to to the teamwork and camaraderie what you know what can you say about this group as a collective and how they came together to put their best work forward on this picture and you know what was that like to just see it all come together even the first time that you watched the film it's i have to say that obviously it was a complex and pressured sort of and and um and difficult production sort of we we shot the whole film in 52 days which was a tight schedule and we and and coming onto the battlefield it's it's a it's a little bit i mean our battlefield set um it's a little bit like i don't know we've opened pandora's box this is so much bigger than i thought it would be and and yet everybody being very minute and at the same time very um sort of very ambitious um created this sort of we i i i was on a on a panel after a screening recently and our um our dp james friend said and and this is really the answer to your question so sort of it, it's a quote from him and he said that he's very rarely sort of experienced sort of a, a a production where he felt 
everybody was actually making the same film and everybody had gone to into this sort of making the same film and and that's what it felt like it was um it, sort of circumstances were difficult but it was also very very satisfying and i i have to say sort of i very much enjoyed every moment of it sort of and, and i loved getting up at 4 30 in the morning and driving out to a frozen mud pit it was still a very very beautiful experience wow that's impressive waking up that early to go out in, into the mud um as a producer what is your process for deciding which film you want to to, to produce and work on and and invest in and your just your time and money how do you make those decisions oh it's very i mean sort of we're we're a very small company sort of we're um uh we're i don't know if that sort of if that phrase applies but sort of you know we're like a boutique little production company and mostly i have to say i mean the initial decision is is always the own personal interest mm -hmm. is is this something that I would go and watch? Is this something, um, and is this a version of a story that that I would personally go and, and, and be interested in and hopefully enjoy seeing it in a theater or, or on a screen? And now you have your first Oscar nominations. So I'm guessing, it, will it be the first time you're attending as well? And what are you looking forward to the most? Um, oh, I'm just I'm just really looking forward to to rejoining that whole group. I mean, sort of, um, I've uh, we've just gone through a list of um, of tickets and plus ones and sort of who who will be coming and and the sense of everybody getting their credit and and sort of and 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 a huge group coming together again uh is uh, sort of that's what i'm looking forward really the most well we're looking forward to seeing all of you there on the red carpet and we wish you the best of luck on oscar night multi gruner thanks for speaking with me today about all quiet on the western front pleasure thank you mm -hmm.